Welcome to the fourth IEEE Bombay Section Signature Conference 2022. We have the honor today to have amidst us the Pro Vice Chancellor of NMIMS deemed to be University, Dr. Sharad Maiskar. Welcome, sir. Welcome. Uh, thank you for joining us to answer okay. some Good questions that we'll be asking you. So, uh, the event has been a great success, of course. So, I just want to know how important is it for institutions like MPSTME to conduct research in the area of data science? I must say that's a great question because you know, uh, one of the important building blocks of MPSTME and NMIMS is knowledge creation. Yes. Well, unless we create knowledge, there is no use of delivering something which is very old. So, we at NMIMS believe that whatever we teach in the classroom should be relevant and mm. updated. And for that, we don't want to be like teleprinters or tele-readers. We want to conduct research and bring research to the classroom. So whether it is data science or any other field, we give a lot of importance in knowledge creation mm. and that should create teaching excellence. Mm. So whatever research is conducted in our uh, labs, in theory, mm. in different aspects, has to be brought back to the classroom. Mm. Unless we teach something which is updated, your knowledge is not going to be yeah. relevant. And yeah. that's why in data science or any other field, we give a lot of emphasis on conducting research, mm. conducting research and being relevant and bringing them back to the classroom. Yeah. So that is very important for yeah. us. In fact, we believe at the university that knowledge creation is the most important fundamental block of any university system. Mm. Because universities are created for knowledge creation yeah. and then dissemination. Absolutely. It's not that we just go on disseminating knowledge. Mm. So knowledge creation has to be first mm. and then disseminate that knowledge created to the classroom, mm. to the students. Mm. When the students get out to the field, mm. they are relevant to the yeah. industry. And this industry yeah. is shouting that we don't have relevant students, you don't yeah. have updated students. Yeah. That perception will go once we do this. Yes. But this research temperament is not limited only to the faculty. Even the students, you encourage them to pursue yes. research. Can you yes. say something about that? Yeah, so see, you know, in our system, what has been historically done is uh, you, you have been trained to mug up yes. and then deliver. And then when you go to the industry, you don't know even to solve a small problem. Yeah. Actually, the seed of research starts with, you know, first identifying what the problem is. You should be able to identify even yeah. a small thing. Where are the pain points of a different person, different society? Mm. Once you're able to do that, find out mm. what's the pain problem. Mm. How do you solve that problem? Mm. How do you solve that problem efficiently? Mm. How do you solve the problem with a given technology mm. or different technology solutions? Yeah. This sort of a mindset is very important for yeah. students. Yeah. If you don't have that mindset built up in the college days, even in the school days, I should say. Mm. Then the students will be coming out with a lot of rotten knowledge, mm. rutting all the things, and then not able to attack the yeah. problem which yeah. industry has. Yeah. What is the industry expecting when they go to the, their uh, uh, sectors? Is that if a problem is posed by somebody, can the student analyze it, yeah. solve it, yeah. give a solution, yes. give an economical solution, yeah. give a solution which is sustainable? Mm. So, all of these aspects of Mm. Research, mm. sustainability, mm. sustainable goals, all that has to be built in the students coming to school. Yeah. Otherwise, you know, what is happening is the students will not do a knowledge, they are getting knowledge. Only the theoretical aspects of it. How to attack a problem, how to identify a yeah. problem, how to solve it using different yes. techniques yes. that they have learned. That is really important. Yeah. So, every student has to learn the receive the research. During his graduation day, mm -hmm. in fact, I can see during the school day. Mm -hmm. And the teacher should emphasize that to the yeah. students. You know, yeah. the students can learn in different yeah. ways, in their different domains, or yeah. online domains, yeah. different things. But that is very important from a teacher to come back. How to research, how to write a problem, how to solve a problem. Problems yes, solve. it has to start early. As early yeah. as early as possible. Mm. And how does the uh, an association with a body like IEEE help in promoting this kind of research culture? Yeah, so you know, in all these aspects, uh, the professional bodies like IEEE are very important to bring research to the classrooms, to you know, to help the teachers publish their research, students publish their research. Mm. Even if a student is doing a small project in his first year, mm. second year, third year, 
He has to be taught as to how do you put the research in a paper, mm. how do you present the research. Mm. That is what is important. Yeah. As I told you earlier, he can solve a problem, he can identify a problem. After you solve a problem, identify a problem, how do you take it to the Excellent. people? Yeah. How do you take it to the education world? How do you take it to the industry? Yeah. How can you commercialize it? All of that is very important. And during the I think I to the part of the society mm-hmm. will be our commission bodies have to be playing a very important role yeah. as to you know when you do research, how can you be make it relevant, convert it to a product mm-hmm. or an innovation, mm-hmm. use it, use that for starting up something, and then see yeah. if you can earn money out of it. Nothing yeah. wrong with earning money for a product which is yeah. useful to the society. Yeah. Yeah. But then taking one person through the entire range of activities is not something like I typically can do. Yeah. That is very important yeah. for students. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Those are real words of wisdom, yeah, Dr. Thank Meister. You very much. Thank, thank you. you so much for uh, yeah. sparing time. I know you're very busy, but no, this, this was really, really great. Really great. Yeah. With this interview, we come to the end of today's episode. Don't forget to tune in for more exciting happenings and interesting chats with experts. Until then, signing off. Do take care.